Hello my friends, welcome to the Innovation Lab. So in this video, I wanted to show you something that uh, came to my mind this weekend. So in the previous video, I showed how you can build a very simple universal charger by using new components, by using this server power supply and this DC to DC uh, boost converter and um, then the power meter. So the power meter is not a necessity. Basically, you just need these two components here and the more critical component being this boost converter that regulates the output voltage and the output current. So, but then I was asking myself, what if I happen to not have this guy, this uh, server power supply, or if I, have, if I happen to be one of those people that live in places around the world that you know don't quite have access to eBay or Amazon or wherever I you know you can find this power supply then what do you do so so the idea that I'm going to try this weekend this is going to be partly an experiment and uh, see I am very confident that it's gonna work is so we get rid of this guy we get rid of this supply now we can replace it with an actual power transformer as a source. So if you look around your house or if you look around some old um, electronics, uh, whatever you have, microwave uh, transformers, you can easily find a transformer that you can repurpose. Again, the name of our channel is the Innovation Lab. The Innovation Lab, the philosophy that we're trying to push is to teach people how to innovate, how to recycle old electronics so that we can use them and not spend a lot of money every time we want to build something. So if you can find this, I easily found this at home or you can go to a flea market or use an electronics warehouse, you can easily find a transformer. Then, then the concept I'm going to try here is I'm going to take this transformer 110 in I don't know what it's going to give me on the output. I have not measured it. I'm hoping that it will be uh, something significantly higher than 12 volts. So I'm going to take that AC output. I'm going to rectify it using a breach rectifier and uh, maybe add some, fil uh, some filtering cap on the output. Then I'm going to use it as my source for this boost converter. Knowing fully well that the boost converter will regulate the output once it has a source and it has a variable input voltage which is kind of an advantage that we can exploit. So uh, stay tuned and let's see what the outcome will be. So in this section of the experiment we're going to measure the output voltage of the actual transformer. Before we do that uh, I would like to mention that this uh, section of the experiment involves high voltage uh, AC so make sure that you follow safe electrical practices. Beware of your where your uh, high voltages are coming in and uh, make sure that you wear the right PPE. I know in this video I'm wearing, but the gloves I'm wearing are not really electrical gloves, but I'm fully aware of where all the voltages are and I'm wearing this glove to protect myself from any cuts. So be safe while you're doing this section of the, of the uh, exercise. So here, what you can see here is that this side of the transformer is the primary side. White and yellow is the primary side of the transformer. That's where, it, that's where the 110 will come in. And the white and black on this side will be the low voltage outputs, the secondary side of the transformer. So now that we have everything connected, I made some speed connectors to allow me to plug into this uh, uh, transformer because luckily it came with uh, the female connectors, speed connectors. So, and I also hooked up my digital multimeter and made sure that it's set to measure AC because this is not, DCs can go to transformers. So now we plug in to the socket here and as we turn it on, we should be able to observe the output voltage. So as you can see here, this transformer puts out 18.64 volts and that's what we are going to rectify 
into DC so we can use it to charge our battery. Here we have it. So our bridge rectifier circuit is complete. So now we have to just, uh, I added some more speed connectors on the board to make it easy to just plug in the transformer and plug in the DC to DC boost converter. All right, so yeah, that's what it looks like. So, and I also added a fuse, a 40 amp fuse, you know, just in case anything goes wrong, you need to be able to uh, have some safety there. All right, let's go to testing. So as you can see there, so we have a very clean DC output that um, we're going to feed into our DC to DC boost converter. There you have it. I think that's the highest we can go. We got to 88.2 volts DC. Yeah, so with this, you can um, charge up to um, 80 volts, uh, battery rated for 80 volts or thereabout, 82 volts or something like that. We have to do the math. So yeah, but this is, this shows that it works. The only limitation with this would be that we cannot really charge any battery that's below 24 volts. So um, for that, we may have to use a lower voltage transformer. All right, so uh, it's time to uh, test the charging system. So what we're looking at here is a 48 volt lead acid battery pack. So, and um, kind of a brief overview. So going from the left, so we have our power transformer and it goes into the uh, uh, bridge rectifier circuit. And from there, we go to our DC to DC boost converter. Again, this is a very simple design. And now it goes into our, our power meter. So as you can see, our power meter is hooked up to the battery. And um, so we are measuring, so the voltage that we're measuring there is the battery voltage um, level. So now the first thing we need to do is to disconnect from the battery and set our boost converter voltage to 56 volts. And we got 56 volts from the, uh, because this is a 48 volt pack, which means we have four, 12 volt battery packs and it's recommended to charge a 12 volt with about 14 volts so you multiply that by six so that's where we get the uh, 56 volts from all right let's so let's tune up the uh, boost converter voltage all right as we did in the last video so we're going to do our current adjustment here on this potentiometer 
and the voltage adjustment here on this potentiometer here. And as we do that, we keep an eye on the power meter to make sure that um, we don't exceed the voltage levels that we want. Right now we adjust our output voltage. You can see the uh, voltage going up. So we have 38 volts. Now we have 40 volts. 45.6. Our aim is 56 volts. 52 volts, 53. All right, so now we have our voltage set to 56 volts to charge the 48 volt battery. So now let's bring in the uh, battery pack. But first of all, we turn off the source uh, just to be safe. So all right, so we, now we have our battery hooked up and you can see the battery voltage is at 49.3 and our charger is off. So before we hook up the charger, we ha you have to make sure that you have the output current uh, turned down uh, to the lowest point. And the lowest point is uh, basically right now 140 milliamperes. So now what we have to do is to turn, turn on the power supply, then we adjust the output current. So my goal here would be to charge these batteries with about three amps. All right. So now the charger is on. So let's uh, adjust the output current until we get to the desired current. So you can see it's going up 1.4, 1.7, 2 amps, 2.39. To play it safe with these batteries, for some reason they don't like exceeding 2.5 amps because I think it's because the battery is uh, partially uh, charged. It's not really fully depleted. So we leave it at 2.5 amps. So now you can see that we're putting in 56 volts, 2.5 amps um, into the battery and uh, it with a total power input of about 137 watts. And then it's gonna be going down as the battery is charging. So, and this power meter is very good because it's actually gonna show you the accumulated uh, charge in the battery in ampere hours. All right, my friends, we have come to the end of this video and I am glad that this project uh, was a success. So as you could see in the video, uh, we were able to replace this server power supply by just using uh, power, a power transformer and the uh, regulator circuit to uh, provide um, input DC to this uh, boots converter and we now use the boost converter to charge the battery by setting it to the right voltage. So yeah, this goes to prove that um, there are many ways to do something. And here at the Innovation Lab, so we try to find different ways to do things to help people out around the world. So yeah, um, I hope that you uh, enjoyed this video. I hope, I hope that you had some entertainment, some fun. You learned some things. I know I learned a lot doing this uh, project. So yeah, so if you found the video entertaining, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and um, see you in the next video. So one thing I forgot to mention and I would like to recommend is that if you're doing this project, make sure that, um, and if you're gonna be using it to charge your battery for a long period, make sure that you have a cooling fan that will cool both the uh, regulator circuit and the uh, DC to DC boost converter. That will be very helpful.